the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Once again, we take a moment in silence, acknowledging our sinfulness. We have sinned against the Lord. We have sinned against one another. We ask the Lord pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and, and to, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed, blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you certainly will not die, nor God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves and made loin clothes for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. This is the word of Lord. Thanks be to God. Response here, Sam, your response. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guilt. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter. From distress you will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom, you will ring me round. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Let's rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing Say hallelujah to the Lord. The 
Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to you, to you all, Lord. Lord. Chapter 7, verses 31 onwards. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and said, and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, a fata, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to do, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love, O oh Lord. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. With this bread and wine, we come to this Eucharistic feast. On this day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love, Lord, on this day of joy, on this day of hope. We come to you in love, bread to be your body, Lord, wine to be your saving blood, on this day of joy, on this day of hope. We come to you in love, O oh Lord, on this day of joy, on this day of hope. We come to you in love. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and, and the good, good of all, all his, his holy, holy church. church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth 
the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He is Lord, He is Lord, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue control, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we stand before the Lord, we lift to our Heavenly Father all our needs and pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this, this day our daily, daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my, and my soul shall be healed. Father, we thank you for the heavenly gift. As we have received communion and become one with you, help us to continue to remain close to you and live a life that is pleasing to you. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to be to God. God.